level of maturity of a person is their age, how yeah. we should be viewing it. Do you find yourself surrounded by people who are not emotionally mature? Emotionally mature isn't quite the same thing as standard maturity. Instead, it specifically refers to one's ability to manage negative or stressful situations without causing unnecessary escalation. That is the main issue that our relationships are having. You know, and fellas, th these are notes. If you're dealing with a woman that gets triggered or men uh, uh, or women, if you're dealing with a man that gets triggered emotionally, if he is not able to handle a stressful situation with a leveled mind where he's processing, run. That person is emotionally immature. It's a child. Don't look at them no different than you would a six-year-old having a fit. I have, I, I coach and I mentor a lot of guys on this right here and it helps them. Unfortunately, the men they're they're in a situation to where they're not able to leave children involved, but the best way that you can handle that situation from there is to be able to understand what you're actually dealing with. Makes it a lot easier. If you understand that that grown person that you're looking at, it's hard for the mind to understand, but it's a child. Yeah. And a child is based off the they, they, uh, they emotional uh, status. And unfortunately, most men, we grew up hearing that we were only the ones that uh, did not grow emotionally. Um, right on, so right let on. me see. Did I reread this? Um, it is plaguing us as a people. Man. Emotional, emotionally mature people also tend to have healthy, positive relationships with others, and they tend to be happier overall. Combine all these factors are enough to make anyone strive to achieve this maturity. Here are six behaviors that reveal emotionally mature people. So I want you guys to be able to pay attention because history does equate to the present. If you're dealing with somebody that, unfortunately, what I'm saying right now, you got to uh, pay attention to the trigger and keywords. One of them are narcissistics. They've dealt with them. Um, it's a rare situation to actually deal with a true narcissist person. We all have narcissistic uh, tendencies and qualities. We were raised that way. America is that. Um, but if everybody that they've ever dealt with was a narcissist, nine times out of ten, they have not emotionally mature so six behaviors emotionally mature people display they are aware of their needs and emotions to be emotionally mature one must be aware of their feelings needs and thoughts here's how emotionally mature people can do with uh, this with ease they recognize needs and feelings it's easy to close yourself off when you feel negative emotions but it's essential to be aware of them in the first place Denying emotions will only cause internalized issues or will explode later. I have pictures of pretty much almost everybody I've ever dealt with. But education is key. I had no idea. Things like this on top, definitely not going to be from a single family uh, household. Uh, right. My situation, dealing with a bunch of women, you know, that's the last piece of information I'm going to get. And I'm not putting it all on them. You know, nobody right. is actually, it's very seldom that a person takes time to learn them themselves. Everybody's chasing what everybody else is doing. They learn them by, by watching observation through education without internalizing and using their mind. Mm -hmm. uh, they put things in perspective. Emotionally mature people know how good they have it. And they regularly check themselves and shift their perspectives to realize they're lucky compared to everyone else. That's what we're speaking of. Of course, yeah. suffering and sadness are not competitions. And no matter how good your situation, situation, you are allowed to be upset when things go wrong. But it can also help to remember all the good things in one's life when dealing with strong feelings. Um, and that I do do. Um, the one thing about life that I've learned how to do, and I hate to learn. Uh, my bad situations are learning lessons. I take those situations and I figure out 
How can I learn from them? If I walk out of any situation I have not learned, I know that I was the problem and I am that problem moving forward. You're only going to, you know, bear it down. Yeah. Uh, have, have, have you realized that? You know what I mean? How, how do you, yeah. uh, how do you exit, you know, say, say a relationship, you know, is it just looking for, for, for blame or do you, you know what I mean? Sit back and, you know, try to figure out how, what, what really went wrong. Yeah. I analyzed the, uh, both parties. Uh, I, I see where I went wrong at. I'm glad that's a good question. I see where I went wrong at. Uh, um, I diagnosed that myself as a as a person who, who who has the potential to do better, that wants to do better. That is a big gap between a person that doesn't admit to anything and don't see themselves doing anything better to change the situation. Yeah. So I take it upon myself to do that. And and hopefully the other party will, but if they don't, I can't control that. So I just keep it in the road that that way, you know. Yeah, and I definitely admit it's an admission uh, to being wrong. That's hard for a lot of people, even 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 I. Accountability. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. And that to me shows a sign of maturity. I told a couple of my exes that yes. I did this. I feel this way about it. And that's that. <laughs> that. You know, I was I was content, you know, not even I didn't even care about the response. I just know how I felt when I displayed what I displayed. And that was important to me. So I think that's a, that was a sign of maturity, you know, uh, uh, on them on, on, on it as far as the demonstration goes. Right. Mm hmm. Oh, that's 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 spot on. You know what I mean? Uh, ladies and gents, that is considered, that considered, that is the definition of emotional maturity. For you to go into a situation, um, you, it takes two to tango. Absolutely. If I put myself into a situation and it goes wrong, which I have multiple times, as I said, I'm be the last one. Anybody want to call out? Have you been hurt? Yes, I've been hurt my whole motherfucking life. But I would never hold my pain, because men, we're not supposed to, actually, I think it's, it's for all of us, that's the emotional maturity. You're supposed to be able to process that pain the same way you did as riding a biting, falling off. You know what I mean? I yeah. assess the situation, analyze and realize what I needed to do better the next time so that I can stay upright. Um, but I always hold myself fully accountable for anybody that I encounter, because that's how I build myself even stronger. I, I want to focus on everything that I've done wrong in it. I'm not, I, I, I rarely pay attention to what they did yes. because I'm trying to, to be better. I want a better situation. Um, I know I was, I was pretty much how most of us was born. You got to realize like we was born, one of our legs was six inches shorter. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, yes, so, indeed. So we, 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 we born with, with, with a defect. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So my thing is, like, how can I get this leg to grow equal to the other one that's, that's keeping me up? Um, and, uh, you know, that that's I, – I think that uh, understanding emotional intelligence and emotional maturity is right. a key to a healthy mm -hmm. relationship. It's a key to even you, yourself mm – -hmm. um, being able to find happiness. You can't find happiness as a six-year-old having a tantrum every time uh, things don't go their, their, their way. And we're in a society where what I'm seeing is that majority of people, that's what they're doing, they're having, uh, uh, you know, itch fest, itch fits because things <laughs> are going their way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Dust your clothes off, you hit the ground, dust them off, pick yourself up and keep walking. Yeah. Well, so we're going to go to the next one. Uh, they put things into perspective. Emotionally mature people know how good they are. Uh, we already did that one, right? Uh, they don't take things personally. Mm -hmm. Emotionally mature people never fall into the habit of thinking that the world is out to get them. Their egos aren't so vast as to believe the world revolves around them. Uh, <laughs> we touched the topic on the uh, princess syndrome and a lot yeah. of these things. You know what I mean? It's yes, we've 
scrape the surface a little bit, but yeah, it definitely, uh, <laughs> it definitely speaks volumes to what we're talking about right now. Definitely yep. correlates. That it do. And wow. just on that note, make sure that you like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Um, please, please, please. Yes. Because, Help yourself. Yeah. Uh, as we stated, it, man, this right here, you, you're not going to find uh, this information and this energy nowhere else out here. You know what I mean? That's the difference between uh, men and boys. You know? Absolutely, man. Leaders Absolutely. and followers. You know what I mean? These are, this is all the, the stuff that you need. The rest of telling men to go soil your oats. Like, man, this ain't coming to America, man. We already here. <laughs> we already here. Been here. Done yeah, this. Been here. Like, like yeah, this. Yeah, there ain't none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, yeah, y'all got to get y'all maturity level up, y'all. Get y'all maturity game up. Uh, if you want to call yourself an adult, it ain't about, you know, gender. It's about being mature right, at this point. It's about uh, taking a, you know, just just being accountable because, you know, the first, you know, the first way to, well, we got to admit first, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. At, uh, any, any addict has to admit first, and we ain't talking, we ain't calling out nobody's addicts or lifestyle, but we just saying any any problem you might have, admit you had at first. Yeah. So we both can get over it together. Like it makes no sense to sweep that under the rug. You know what I'm saying? No, it's knowing that there's more dirt around the rug. Like, come on. Like y'all yeah. gotta get with this. Get with this. Cause it's only gonna help us as a society uh try to penetrate, you know, all these things that's plaguing us at this current time. So let's get with yeah. it, people. Let's yeah. get with it. And, that, and that, that's our mission, man. Our mission, like we're here to combat uh, what the big businesses and media is like doing. As I say, this right here, you're not going to be able to find in no, no movie, uh, definitely on no TikTok until we actually put it on TikTok to explain exactly why. So you guys understand what you need right. to be to to grow. You know, and most people we've never these. This is information that that we don't have. That's most of the people that we come across and be, be, be cautious of, you know, as we said, like the younger people will be able to take something like this. This is information that, that, that we did not have readily available for us. And, you know what I mean? Figure out how you can digest this because this is the, this is the real, this will stop you from being as bitter, angry and ignorant as everybody that's ahead of you uh, in front of Absolutely. you as, as far as, as far as age. Um, the next one, they don't make things personal either. When an emotionally mature person runs into conflict, they don't jump into a defensive mode where they take everything as a personal attack. They put aside their pride with reason, of course, and communicate with honesty and empathy to solve the problem well. They don't let their emotions rule. When someone is aware of how they feel, they can keep those emotions from running the show. Bottling emotions up instead can cause them to subsequently uh, subconsciously influence you, which is something that doesn't happen to an emotionally mature person. Um, and I'm going to pause right there because the lack of emotional maturity is what, and this is directed towards you ladies. No, 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 no. Let me take that back. It's an emotionally immature people. I just, you know, what I mean, my experiences are with them and we you know what I'm seeing on TikTok. So it's just what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to convince you to accept the emotional maturity side of them. Oh, this is what a woman is. No, <clears throat> no, no. <clears throat> I don't believe that for a second. This is how you were programmed. Yeah. But the numbers speak. Our relationship rate and Dating rate, it's at lows. Birth rate is at lows. Um, a woman is a woman and a girl is a girl. Yeah. Big difference. Uh, they are positive but realistic. Optimism is beneficial in everyday life. And emotional maturity, mature people tend to favor positive thinking over a doom and gloom mentality. They're bright and happy thoughts, of, uh, happy lots of, oh, they're bright and happy lots of time which makes them enjoyable to be around. And they don't let anything get them down very long. Most relationships break 
apart because you got one, what, what do you call it? Debbie the Downer. Yes, yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Debbie yeah. D, what it be? Yeah, we are we, we too familiar <laughs> with that one. But this doesn't mean that these individuals are hopeless, idealistic with their heads in the clouds. It's quite to the contrary. They, they're they realistic about the situations that they're in and see them accurately. Still, they use positive thinking to focus on the right sides or how to work towards solving problems and improving the situation. They don't get stuck wallowing in their sadness. Instead, emotionally mature people. Now, that's where our whole economy is like falling because people avoid the emotional side of life. It's not that relationships don't work. You got two parties, men and women, so scared. Yeah, you know I mean, and yeah. in that sense, I call both parties bitches, the men yeah. and the women. You know what I mean? That's that's how you use that word right, because it's it's a universal. That, yeah. that word is universal. Well, 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 they call man bitches mitches, and they call Mitches. women bitches witches. So witches and mitches. Yeah, <laughs> witches and mitches. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? All you gotta do is turn that let one letter upside down. It's the same D. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. hey, they keep themselves grounded in reality. I uh, we stay in reality. That's why we able to give you guys this message with their heads yeah. tilted to the sun all day, baby. Understand mm -hmm. that life cannot be anything but positive or negative occurrences, but balance of both. Mm. Looking forward to the future, prepared for the good times and for the challenges that will undoubtedly arise. So anybody that's not looking to the future, really, they're afraid of it. They're still mm. trying to they're trying to figure out what's happening in, in their present, which they can't even control. So they damn sure can't control anything that's that's coming, you know, ahead. It's crazy because I haven't went through all this though. Like this is this is like the main key of what's, what's wrong with everybody. Yes. It's the it's the uh, the emotional maturity level. Yes, so, absolutely. Uh, the viewer, man, y'all y'all soak this up. This right here will save y'all some time because um, this will help you be able to identify who to deal with and who not to. Friends, right. relationships, family. Yes. You know what I mean? Your your yes. your your inner circle. Uh, are intent on making the best out of bad situations and finding the silver linings in ever troubling time. Assume the best of those around them, bearing those who have proven themselves untrustworthy before. And that's that one is tying into what the relationships are going wrong on. Uh, because somebody hurt them in the past, so they are afraid to accept somebody else in, or they're comparing their past to their present. Right. Naturally, feel thankful for small things in their everyday life. Um, and that one, I just want to pause on that one. For people who have to pray, um, a lot of people don't understand that I live in prayer. Not a religious guy, but I live in prayer. As long as I live in prayer, that means that I'm giving just as much as I want to receive. Of course, we all want to receive. But I can't just sit there like a child and just keep asking for things that are of no relevance to, you know what I mean? To yeah. what I need to actually survive, live, thrive, uh, contribute to society, contribute to the existence of a species because species die off. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Number three, they're flexible and open-minded. An emotional, mature person knows that their views are not the be-all and end-all truth. Mm. They stay flexible and are always open to hearing new ideas and opinions, even those that clash with their thoughts. Now, hey. we're going to put a pin on that one. Go, <laughs> go and get it. Go and get it. <laughs> All right, no. No, I, I was going to just say, look, actually, we could totally be all the way wrong about what we're saying, right? <laughs> but we, I highly doubt it. Let me just throw that disclaimer out there. You yeah. see what I mean? We could be totally wrong. Yeah. We don't have all the sense. Let's not get it twisted. Yep. Each one teach one. We're yep. giving it as it's given. And yep. we recognize that far along and we still recognize it to the day. That's what allows me and Coach B to be who we are and to say what we say. Hey, man, yep. we ain't never said we was the smartest person in the room. Yep. Ever. Okay? Yep. 
We just yep. thrive to be. Yep. And ain't nothing wrong with that. And we taking we taking suggestions and we at any time just hit us down in the comments below. Let us know what you think. Subscribe to the channel and tell mm -hmm. us where we went wrong at if you believe so. We yep. open. We're an open yep. book over here yep. at Unique Podcast, baby. Yep. Right? Yep. I just had to say that, man. I'm sorry. Nah, hey, hey. <laughs> I, no, I'm, I'm glad you did, dog. You took, look, look. <laughs> Ain't nothing but birds chirping over here, uh, crickets. You know what I mean? Because that's exactly and it. Like, me and him haven't went through this. You know what I mean? I just, I do my, right. you know, research trying to figure out. Um, right. Man, you guys can, what's this, 312? Y'all can date anything back before that. The last thing that we've ever done is say that we know all. We're just trying to bring attention, trying to get you guys, trying to spark something to think yes. outside of the box. Please, please do you know that. I mean? We 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 brand new, you know what I mean? Like this is anybody in this generation, uh, this day and age, we all brand new. We all just coming out the the the, the cooch right now, you know. So we find value in working together, listening to each other, working as a team. Um, so now that uh, this was dope because it pretty much summed up the whole every podcast that we've ever done leading up to this point yes. and then it, 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 it put the pin on this entire podcast that, that we did today you know absolutely because I mean? uh, we, we've said that time in time out you know we're, we're not the we're, this is a non-judgment zone you know I mean there is no the only dumb thought is one that, that, that don't think on their own if you're only repeating what somebody else said you know yeah. what I mean that's 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 stupidity. You know, we want to hear what you think, how you feel, how you perceive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Your experiences. That's 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 what life is. That's what the people above us have the leverage over. Yeah. We don't we don't share our stories. They do. There you go. Uh, man, goodness re uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This awesome. this this one was dope, man. Yeah. Uh research has shown that open minded individuals are often happier overall with better positive thinking as well as Improve conflict management skills. If that sounds like something you'd like to be a part of your life, then emotional maturity is the solution. Of course, there's a limit to open-mindedness. -minded We're not saying that emotional mature people tolerate those who are intolerant, for example. But even though in those situations, they maintain a degree of curiosity. They aim to understand the cause behind these points of views so that they can better speak for or against them. This is this is funny. This is funny, man, because this is explaining uh unique. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, this, this is explaining <laughs> us. Damn you know why so, so, so next time we're gonna bring it in, like, yeah, well, we are the uh emotionally uh, mature <laughs> sector of YouTube podcast <laughs> life, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't even understand. Emotional intelligence is not what we've been taught. Mm -hmm. Flowers, right? That's that's what they say. Oh, men don't care. Yeah. You don't rub my back. <laughs> yeah. Where's the flowers? What about Thanksgiving? The size yeah. of my ring. Yeah. yeah. That ain't got none of the yeah. actually. You even you even the man in that shit shows that you lack emotional. Intelligence, maturity, call it what you want. Yes, sir. They ask yes, sir. before they speak. You may know people in your life who talk and talk and talk, but always seem to fail to listen accurately. These people are not emotionally mature as they are more interested in themselves than in other people, putting themselves above others. On the other hand, an emotionally mature person listens and observes before reacting. They always think before they speak or act and gathering context clues and facts from people's speech and the environment before making a carefully considered move. They control their impulses, which prevent any emotional outburst. Just wanted to let y'all hear that silence. There was nothing there. Let 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 that brain just just that was work. some look, that was some loud silence right there. <laughs> loud. It was loud, dog. <laughs> uh, let me see where we at. Uh, yeah. On top of that, emotionally mature people don't listen to add their points in. 
they try to understand and to relate the fact that listening is twice as complicated as the act of speaking is one of the reasons why many individuals don't successfully pre uh, perform this positive trait positive they're honest they're honest how many people you come across and sounding up <laughs> Right. When someone is emotionally mature, they are also emotionally honest because they're so in tune with themselves, they have no problem being in touch with their feelings. And they are therefore able to understand themselves and be honest about their sincere thoughts. They also see that others appreciate honesty from them and that honesty is crucial for effective positive communication. Here are some ways emotionally mature people are honest. No, I, it's... I think this right here, this breaks down that um, that princess syndrome like into detail, because that's yeah. basically with the whole princess syndrome. You know, people being lost with emotions that that don't even make sense. I mean, yeah, and, and they're, they're 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 one directional, one dimensional. Absolutely, that should break it down, and yeah, that should compartmentalize compartmentalizes it. Basically, damn. We just we just basically that did that segment all in one. That shit was like a double two birds, one stone type of thing. The, the princess, the whole shit, dog. The whole and, shit. And that's breaking it down so that there is no gender that's actually put in it. We all know people like this. And uh how they said emotionally people are honest. Uh the the, the list starts with integrity. I mean, an emotionally mature person is committed to life of integrity. I live in integrity. I am integrity. I think that that's the most important key to life, friendship, relationships. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, they want to work with the truth and nothing but the truth. Even if that truth hurts, get out your feelings. As such, they are honest with others and themselves working with facts. They also expect honesty from others, so they have an open mind to listen to all sorts of feedback and information. Make sure that you like, subscribe, leave a comment below. We're not just saying it to, to, to trick the algorithm. Yeah. We're curious. <laughs> Sincerity. I just spoke on that. An emotionally mature person is sincere. What I just spoke was sincere. They do not feel the need to pretend to be someone they are not. Yes, <laughs> man, is dope. Man, is dope. One hundred, one hundred. Yes, sir. Uh, they yeah. do. They don't wear masks. Take the makeup off, bitches. No, please. <laughs> Take the makeup off. Here. Maybelline. Yeah. All that shit. <laughs> hey, so that that's kind of like to the point where it's like, okay, now they're actually raised to the image that they're given is to wear that mask, however you want to put it. Weave, mm -hmm. makeup, lashes, men, clothes, tight little pants, glasses, pain, diamonds, teeth, glasses, hair coming down on me. That's the same oh, thing as a mask. And these are all the emotionally uh, immature people. Yo, I hope it's registering to the listener as much of it as it is to me. I'm learning while I'm, you know what I mean? Because this is, <laughs> I'm going down that, 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 that little tunnel, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, we yeah. connect the dots, and it, it, it all makes sense. Yes, uh, they don't wear a mask. Indeed, they show their true selves and are proud of their own identity. That's all I ever wanted to be in life is me. If I was to go tomorrow, I left being me. How many yeah. of you can say that? Man. Change. It's, 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 it's never too late. It's never too late. Never too late, y'all. Come on. Come with us. Come with us. Come with us. That's it. For real. That's yeah, assistance. For many people, being honest about needing help can be difficult, but admitting that the help is, necess is necessary is part of living honestly, and emotionally mature people don't let their pride stop them from seeking help. Don't be afraid to reach out for assistance, whether of a physical or emotional kind. People will appreciate that you're open to them. Guess what? I'm so sincere and so open that's my uh that's my uh that's, <laughs> that's you. part of emotional and yeah. uh, maturity that I have not. And that's the beautiful yes. thing. 
You know what I mean? Yes, yes. It's 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 accepting what it is, and that's that's one thing that I do know and trust. You you, I'm, you I'm, still I'm, got work to do. I still exactly. got work to do. Yeah, we yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad though. Yeah. I wouldn't have it no other way. Let's let's get it. Like I don't care. We are not. We're not. That's okay. We are gonna get that though. <laughs> we gonna get over that for sure. Exactly. That's the beautiful thing about this. Hey, that's how y'all know that this is straight real. I mean, yeah. and the one thing that I do not do is feel the need to have to lie. You know, I am what I am. I'm in the process of, you know, and there's no such thing as perfection. And there's no such thing as you know everything. If you know everything, right. why are you here? Life is about learning. That's the entire point of life. So at the moment that you feel like you don't need to learn no more, where are you going? Yeah, you know I mean? Uh, so that right there was uh, what Coach B needs. <laughs> he, <laughs> he he has to focus on his assistance. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, and then back it up by no white lies. Emotionally mature individuals tell it like they see it, and don't try to preserve the feelings of others by lying. Y'all just heard that, that it's an embarrassing, it's not something I stand strong on, but God damn it, it got to come out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, this, this is dangerous, man. This thing called All right. <laughs> However, this doesn't mean an emotionally mature person is tactless. They can be mm -hmm. kind and let someone else, uh, someone know the truth gently, but they see no benefit in white lies. Vulnerability. This is another one. I just Man. told y'all all about me. Uh, being vulnerable is scary, but an emotional mature person has learned to overcome that fear. They are comfortable with their good side, bad side, and flaws, and they aren't afraid to being open about their lives and who they are. They can be real with you and build trust with those around them by opening up. The vulnerability can also help positive thinking Allowing for better mental health. You know what I mean? That's that's what yes. it all that shit summed up everything that I just said. Like, yes, I'm going I'm I'm going through these as as I, I uh for the first time, you know. So you guys uh, we all in a therapy session right now. Yes. We all, we all <laughs> on that couch, boy. Laying yeah. on that couch. <laughs> we all there. And you know what, just speaking of that, man, I kid you not, the best thing um about speaking and um especially younger people pay attention to to what you actually say when you're talking to somebody else nine times out of ten you're giving yourself advice mm, that's that or yeah that's that thing called subconscious we ain't got no control over that motherfucker we don't get to uh see or speak to them often but they speak to us often you, we just yeah. don't listen yeah you gotta do uh, a better job like yeah but it's the you know it's it's all learning we don't know uh -huh. what, what, what we haven't, you know what I mean, uh, been exposed to or taught. Um, they take responsibility when they are wrong. When someone lacks emotional maturity, they may be unable to accept when they are wrong and take responsibility for whatever they caused or whatever has happened. Someone who lacks the maturity may jump into defense mode, deflect blame, point fingers, make excuses, are focused on protecting their ego, aka what a lot of people understand right now is they consider it their pride. Yeah. Um, it's a bad thing. Yeah, can be, can be. Yeah, but this shows a massive lack of maturity because it means that this person isn't willing to make the right, make things right, all for the sake of their pride. It's a selfish action and is the mark of someone who hasn't become emotionally mature. Here are some ways that those who have become emotionally mature react to their mistakes. Admission. If someone suggests they've done something wrong, an emotionally mature person considers the subject seriously. They don't have an interest in fighting to prove their innocence and will offer a polite apology. They don't feel a supreme need to be right all the time and often play the less mature so they don't waste their time trying desperately to believe to be believed. Recognition. Sometimes emotionally mature individuals notice far ahead of time when their actions are less than uh, 
savory. They have a <laughs> level of self-awareness that allows them to see and admit fault quickly so they can acknowledge the issue and promptly make up for it in a positive way. Blame. Emotionally mature individuals never blame others for their problems. They don't blame traffic or the weather. They don't blame the people around them, and they don't even blame those who are also partially responsible. We just spoke on this. They hold themselves accountable and take ownership for the wrongdoings, no matter how minor. Excuses. Unless an explanation is warranted or if there's been a misunderstanding, an emotionally mature person never uses reason as a crutch. They know that it doesn't matter why they did something wrong. All that matters is that they did it in the first place. Bias. Mm. We, they, hey, it's going into everything we didn't already explain episodes before. We almost on 100. Understand, we did the explanation before, <laughs> before the research. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's some reals. Hey, uh, bias. Emotionally mature people know that they have innate preferences and that they, as human beings, can, uh, can be irrational and imperfective. Prejudices are often internalized and can be challenged, challenging to break. So majority of people keep these in mind and when interacting with others and are sure to check themselves and be more careful around topics that tend to push their buttons. You know what I mean? Like, and that's how we go in it. Um, yes. But I care, that like, uh, that was, um, I, I like that. I like that. I think that was, uh, if you are looking for something to add value to your life, save some time, help you become stronger. I would honestly suggest for everybody to drown out the white noise and focus on um, growing emotionally. Um, mm. That that honestly, that kind of sums up um, most of the problems that we're actually having as a society in relationships, um, yes. in our government, in the, the system, you know. Um, yeah, that, yeah. That was deep, though. Very, very. That was that was the therapy diving, right? That was that we dove in on that one. Um, and uh, wow, it's man, that's like <laughs> facts.org. Like, oh, yeah, man. yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that was that was that was therapy session there. That 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 when you talking about that because it involves so many different elements, you know, a society, man. It's like all of us can really benefit from this, bro. Uh, uh, and I guess that's the thing about life, right? It's, and I believe majority of us want to fix our situation. Nobody wants to be unhappy. Nobody wants to feel sad. Nobody wants the next man to not be there for them. Mm -hmm. But it's like, where do we start? And as again, I say, I, 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 I recommend day one. That's day one. I mean, maybe you guys might be looking for uh, another book. We we got one coming, documentary and uh, about the uh, narcissism. Yes, um, I think this is actually this is if not one, it's number two. Yeah, you know, I, I could agree with that one for sure. Yeah, not for sure, for sure. That's what's up. Did you have not any uh, last last words, man? I you know, let you go uh, ahead and bring that uh, up. Oh, you know, because I, I I've been reading, man. Let me uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, like, like let it out, let it out, let it out. This, let it out, man. Yeah, uh, let it out. How you can get it? Let it out, dogs. Nah, I just I just want everybody to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, actually apply you know, what we're saying to your lives because it affects those closest to you and even uh, other people, you know, in society. Uh, us as society right now have fallen behind the eight ball and we're, 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 we're on this trying to dig ourselves out uh, mind state right now when in actuality, we got ourselves in that position, you know, with the assistance of the powers that be, 
but it was all made from a choice. You know, it was all made from a choice. Believing in the wrong people will get you in a place you don't want to be. So I'm not going to spill too much on it. Just the fact that emotional maturity is probably the main, main thing I want you all to take heed to uh, this whole two hour podcast that me and my brother, Coach B, have just put on. Very instrumental in the existence of this whole society moving forward. Not you, your kids, your kids' kids, because yeah. they got a plan for you, me, and he, and she. Yeah. Yeah, it's man. up to you. Yeah. It's up to you. It's up to us. So let's get it together. It's like, subscribe, comment. Unique Podcast is here to simply give what we are giving, and we're learning in the process as well. I think Coach B can can second, uh, you know, second that emotion. So yeah, let's build together, man. And uh, you know, we've been a we we we've, we've taken a, we haven't been on as frequent, uh, but it's a reason for that. It's because we we we're still doing knowledge ourselves and finding the the right you know, bits of information and research so we can give it to you in the right way. Plus, we got other things going. Be sure to got them. Uh, check out our TikTok, Unique Podcast. We on Cora. Uh, you know, Yes Man. We got a lot of things popping uh, off all, really all over the social media platforms. Discord, so, TikTok. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. 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 Clubhouse. Everything. Uh, yeah. All that. Hey, Unique Twitter, Podcast. Twitter. Oh, yeah. Man, come on. Come on, man. We we any way we want to get this message out, we're going to attempt to do it. And we just need y'all support, man. That's all we ain't asking for y'all money yet. But you know, if y'all want to donate to the cause with y'all mind or y'all money, please do so, man. We here. Yeah, make sure you contact, yeah, because the more time that, that me and Navarre are able to put into this, um, of course, you know, it's it, it's not a dream, but it's it's where it should be. You know I mean, the more time that we can apply to this and, um, you know, fully focus on it, the more that, that you guys learn, the more we can learn, uh, the stronger our community can be. There's not many of us out here, uh, I guess, willing. You know, if you are one of the ones that's viewing it, you know, you are one of the ones, but some of them that are willing, and that's what we represent. Yes, um, sir to take the flack to be looked at, you know what I mean? It, Cause it's, it's not giving you guys what you want. It's giving you what you need. And we're at yeah. the time and uh, 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 our generation or, you know what I mean? This era to where I, we don't have time to sit there and, and feed. If it blows up while I'm here, I'm good. If it don't, I'm good. Regardless of what I got seeds. And the one thing that I've always noticed about life from the people that I've dealt, dealt with, you know, uh, uh, when I was younger, once you plant those seeds, all they're waiting for is some water. You know what I mean? And I, I speak of the seeds, yeah, it's, it's, it's um, most of the stuff that we'll speak of, it's not trending. It's not thought of. It's, it's what your subconscious thinks of. You know what I mean? Your subconscious picked up on it. But yeah. When these seeds are planted, like he said, sun and some water, once it do, you're going to be able to grow a plant that can um, that can grow higher than, than ours. And, and that's the whole point of life. You know, the elders are supposed to be able to reach down, drop jewels, give them knowledge, life experiences, where it went wrong. And right now we're in the we're in the best part of life, I feel. Uh, because as I said, we can look forward and we can look back. We can see where they fucked up and why they won't tend to what's going on right now and how blind everybody else would be up under this. We're trying to be that 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 medium. I mean, period and point back. Not trying to, we are. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> um, we are. Yeah. It's it's gonna register, and that's that's the crazy thing. And you know, it's putting the pin on this right here. It's it's gonna register. I haven't run across somebody that later on down life. If I invest the 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 time has we have on YouTube, that seed is is it's going it's going to grow. Um, but one last thing I wanted to do because I know I called myself up just to show how genuine we are. Was there any part of the uh, the emotional 
um, emotional maturity that uh, identified, say, some of the struggles that you know you uh, yes maybe. Oh, share, share with us, brother. <laughs> man, mine is taking it. Mine is the my main one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> listen, look, that bullseye hit me three, three, <laughs> like the first two. No, yeah. like, like it, it was very hard for me myself to um, criticism uh, yeah. that part. Yeah. Constructive yeah. criticism. I'm working on that. Uh, you know, people yeah. being, you know, uh, you know telling the truth, accepting it, taking yeah. it in stride and giving it back in a way that is mature. Mm -hmm. That is the one that uh, that I'm working on most, the most. Um, but I'm working on it day to day. But the fact that I I know it when it's happening, I realize it. I realize it as it's happening. So yeah. that was a big one for me. Yeah. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind it. It's just my response to it is what I do mind. I, I gotta. I have to uh, get, get better at that. You know what I mean? Definitely, man. Definitely. And that, that's that's the beautiful thing, <laughs> man. Um, no, for real. It's it's. Then that goes back into one of it was the vulnerability. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's 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 hard, especially as a man, because uh, we've been taught to be so solid, so you know, reserved, blah blah blah. Like, um, it's, it's, it's so important. Like I, I never noticed it. I've never realized it growing up, but for us to be able to express that, um, I suggest everybody do, you know, cause you, you can't, yeah. if, if you don't express it, you just allow it to fester in your mind. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, right. doing that is dangerous. You know, you end Ooh, up on oh, the, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, because you you're looking for a solution within yourself, and and that's not it. You know, you'll never come up with a full uh, conclusion um, with anything if you just are internalized. We're we're interdependent. We we are an, an interdependent species. We're not independent. You know, so we become weaker the more independent we are. The uh, the less that we. Um, decide to share our stories or express how we truly feel, um, then that's still, you just, it's hiding. You know, like I said, mine, I, I know what mine is. Um, and that's why I like reading it, like, hey, you know what I mean? Let me put my hand up, though. It's, yeah. in, in, all, in all honesty, to me, you know, that's one of the worst things, especially being in a place that I am. Give up. Um, I can preach. And, and maybe that's that's why I'm so good at being able to, you know, or, or uh, uh, driven to help others because I know that's the side I can't. It's hard for me to accept anything from anybody, you know. It was put out yeah. early, and I've always survived. So it's like, you know, I'm gonna do whatever I need to, to survive. And I've, you know, went through the tough times and understood, like, shit. I know exactly how I felt when I was, you know, in this place. So let me allow somebody else because. I know I can't accept it. So I understand how valuable it is. And, uh, but that's how we, you know what I mean? It's, it's that open line of, of, uh, of uh, communication that helps us get through it all because I can only view it, view that. Cause that, that's the one thing that, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, trying to get over just like with yours. Um, but it also ties into, which I'm going to leave the link down below to the personality test. Um, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, and that's that good. right there, there's two things that uh, I want everybody to to take the test on and actually focus on before you even entertain anything outside of life, and that's what our foundation is actually based on. There is there's nine different types of intelligence. Education tries to put us in one box, and that one box only is uh, linguistic and um, uh, logical. It's it's math and English. That's what our IQ test is based off. But there's nine different types of intelligence like spatial. We all know I get gutter. There was that one dude that he can grow a Mary Jane plan out of out of nothing. You know what I mean? Like he under yeah. that's the, the, the naturalistic um, nature. There are certain people that are like botanists. Like they're real good at plants. You have yeah. spatial 
You know what I mean? Good at your hands uh, um, or just your body. Athletes, um, uh, mechanics, you know, carpenters, you know, like using using your hands is an intelligence. But we're taught that that's not an intelligence. But you got to understand, like, we're no different than any other species out here. And you have workers, drones, blah, blah, blah. Like, everybody is meant. There's something in our DNA that, that puts us in a place to where it feels comfortable. You know, like uh, artistic people, you know, don't limit your, your art vision to if you if the first time you experienced it, it was painting pictures. Nah, look at every, every aspect of being artistic. You have musical, you know what I mean? You have uh, visual, and, you know, it's, and these are the things that aren't taught in school, but it's the most valuable uh, pieces of information that we actually need to have a successful, productive life in our, in the, the human being experience. Yes, We're yes, living life through yes. the experience of a corporation. Everything that we do is taught. Your life is going to be based off of just a list of jobs, careers that only that only fit in a corporation. That's yeah. why I am against corporations climbing the ladder. No, you can, but understand you first. You don't climb nobody else's ladder if you want to be a boss. That's two totally different things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If you are searching to be the highest in a position, no. Search for what it is that you actually want to do. You know, what are you great at? If it's logical, you great at math and you understand how your logical thinking can add to it, but you don't want to be a boss. Stop allowing people to tell you that you need to keep climbing, climbing higher. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, right. find, find comfort in, in what you're good at. You know, I'm still discovering it. You know, yes. and that's because it's, it's never been nurtured. It's never been brought out. It's never been explained. Um, and I think, honestly, that's the biggest thing that Unique Foundation, Unique Podcast is here to provide. You know what I mean? We're here to help you guys find who you are. F what they say. F what they think. Who are you? You know, we're going to do a campaign on, you know, we're looking for 100,000 people that's willing to be themselves. That's willing to be the best version of themselves. How many of them people are out there? How many people will actually sign up to find them themselves? That's that's right. where fear comes in. A lot of people fear who who they who they can be. Facts.org. Yep. Again. Again. Uh, but if only they knew. They there's no look. What is nothing to fear but fear itself, man. right? Nothing to fear but the actual yeah, work. Yeah. That's just a word. I mean, listen, we all fear something, but that's something that could be. He just explained. You can get rid of that easily. You fear what you know you can be. You know, it's crazy. Like actual fear. Outside of your instincts. Understand that there's a difference between fear and instincts. Your instincts have developed for hundreds of thousands of years. That's what comes naturally. Yeah. And those, it's not a fear, it's instinct. Fear was created and, and, uh, uh, with a whip. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. Fear, fear was, fear was implemented, man. But, uh, actual, you know, instincts is how, or we want to was set up to see something move, and that's I like where that. Your I like that. Kick in see? to react. Okay. No, no, go ahead. So, no, I'm saying this is should be discussed on a. We get we can do a whole podcast on the mm. versus versus mm. fear versus instincts. Oh uh, man, yeah, right. We gotta yeah, we gotta break that down. No, that's true. Because a lot of people they they don't know how to 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 uh, uh, decipher like fear from which and and the only thing that the only thing we should be focusing on is our instinct. Like your body is created to do everything that it needs to do. Yeah, you know, anything that you're battling with your mind is what they put in. That's the you know what I mean. That's where 
it's, it's hard to fucking balance. Like, you yeah. know, and we naturally would do it. You know, if we went out there and we in the jungle and there's a, there's a, a bear that, that, you know, your fear is supposed to kick in to, well, your instincts kick in and that's where your fear is either fight or flight. Fight or flight. <laughs> that's what it is, man. Um, my shit finna go dead. We been, look, we done yeah. got back on. We don't even know. <laughs> look, look, man, we don't know when to end this motherfucker. Yeah. Like, hey, listen. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. This one, this one was definitely dope. I think a uh, lot, whole lot of information. Information. Hey, just want to make sure you guys know. Make sure that you like, subscribe, yes. and uh, don't be one of them emotionally immature people. I mean, <laughs> or if you are, we invite you in. Let's yeah. let's let's all grow together. We gonna we gonna get this together, man. Life is life is more than that. Thank you. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. All right, man. Peace. All right.